In this episode of Travelog, I'm on a culinary journey to Guangde County. My quest: to taste test their famous speciality dishes. Only I'll have to catch them first. This is my hard work. Look at that. I'm going to eat for three days. I've come to Anhui Province to explore Guangde County. For over 1,800 years, its emerald mountains and fertile plains have attracted all and sundry, from ordinary visitors from neighboring Jiangsu and Zhejiang provinces to luminaries such as emperors and literati. But I've come to Guangde for a different reason. You see. It's a bastion of great food, a bellwether of Anhui cuisine. Its basis: wild game and herbs, and honest, straightforward cooking. I want to test if the old adage is true: that the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And well, if I'm going to be serious about my quest, I'll have to start my day as the locals do. Oh, so I uh, had to get up at 5:30 in the morning uh, because people get to start their morning pretty early with a big bowl of egg fried rice. And that's how you know people here love eating. As one of China's eight famous culinary schools, Anhui cuisine emphasizes the freshness of its ingredients. Something that's only possible if your surroundings are rich in flora and fauna. Guangde is exemplary in this, and even has its own four speciality dishes. My mission is to try them all. Their speciality dishes are more elusive than I thought, but thankfully, everyone in the villages I bumble through seems to know the way. Oh, finally, here we go. One of the four tributes of Guangde, the Tong Flower Fish. Let's give it a try. I'm here to meet Mr. Jin, a local fisherman and restaurateur. He tells me Tong Flower Fish are so called because they congregate by a stretch of river lined with tongue trees. The fish like to eat the fallen flowers of the trees. Which end up turning their flesh and bones soft. I read that tongue trees are supposed to be poisonous, but I'm sure there's no connection here. To catch them, we'll need to use this. This is like the swimming pool. This can be caught in the water. Yeah, we can catch it. Bigger a little. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like we're going jousting. Oh my god! Oh my god! So afraid for the other car. I thought we just poke him right through the windscreen. 河里的桐花鱼多吗？一撒网肯定能抓到。这个水有多么深呢？真的。Oh, that actually is not deep. It's not deep. So it's just for that little fish. Oh, you know, 
And so the hunt begins! As it turns out, Mr. Jen's boat is only big enough for one, so I'm left hanging around on the riverbank watching him cast his net. Just uh, trying to imagine uh, university kids doing this kind of punting up and down Cambridge. Only difference is, Mr. Jin also uses his pole to whack the water, scaring any nearby fish and hopefully corralling them into the trap he's laid. As to whether we'll catch any, well, that's just trial and error. It's just our luck, isn't it? Maybe if it wasn't raining, then we'd actually be able to to, to net up some fish. Uh, here's hoping. What did this net come in? Come on, we gotta go. We gotta catch at least one. Hey. Yes! Oh, you eat your, you're too big, too big. Wow, too small. Uh, it's about the size of my thumb. Don't think um, it's going to be able to feed many people. Oh, you like eat your. Wow, wow, this is how big. Wow, too big. A catch worthy of kings. Although we only want the little ones. We're going to cook two versions today, one braised, one fried. Both are lightly seasoned, so as to highlight the xian, that's the freshness of the fish. Oh. Mmm, xiang, xiang. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. One of the um, four delicacies of Guangde cuisine, the tongue flower fish. Head, fins, tail and everything. Here we go. Mm, mm. But there's a bit of fear going into my mouth. As I was eating the fish, I was afraid of um, the bones kind of jutting into my teeth, like cutting up the inside of my mouth, but he's right. The bones are very soft. You can pretty much just eat it. And it's got this really nice soft texture. It is very good. Coming up next, it's all onesies and wellies as we head out in search of Guangde's second speciality. Why my, oh my god! Right, now that I've ticked tongue flower fish off my list, it's time to head to my next destination, Shijie Town, about an hour's drive away. I'm searching for a gentleman who'll show me how to catch the second, and perhaps most controversial, of Guangde's speciality dishes, soft shell turtles. <laughs> Oh my god. I feel like we're going spearfishing. <laughs> Turtle soup was one of the most popular dishes in colonial America. In China, soft-shelled turtles are considered delicacies, 
capable of curing ailments ranging from dysentery to hot flashes. <laughs> He's greeting everyone we see on the streets, and the first thing they say is, Oh, you go turtle catching? And he's like, Yeah, turtle catching. <laughs> to find them, we'll be scouring the bottoms of muddy lakes and riverbeds. Well, the job's not without its occupational hazards. I think I just... It's not easy to go turtle catching. <laughs> right, now that I've got my brown badge of honour, it's time to do some hunting. These pools all look the same to me, but to a trained eye, each one tells a different story. Oh, I, I don't know how we're supposed to catch turtles there. It's like five meters deep. I don't think this is even long enough. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I don't think I'll follow him in. <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah, it, I, I, it kind of reminds me of a blind man sort of poking around with his walking stick. That is so deep though. I'm just wondering why he's not sinking like I did. Surely I'm back. I see. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, I, 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 they may be turtles, but soft shells are surprisingly fast through the water, thanks to their supple bodies. Oh, oh my god! Holy, wow! Uh, <laughs> that is amazing! I can't believe he managed to do that. Oh, hey little fella. He's a bit scared, right? Rightly so, he's a bit scared. Yeah, the the skirt of his shell is for some reason really leathery and soft. Can't well, obviously the soft shell turtles, but I've never seen this before. I'm told soft shells can also be found in shallow creeks and canals. And the best way to catch them is to just wade right in. Oh my god, what a ledge! Oh wow! Look at this guy. He's quite big too. Check it out. He, uh, he actually has quite sharp claws, so um, I'm getting cut up just holding this guy. <laughs> oh my god! I don't think I'm going to be doing any eating. It was quite fun when we were catching the turtles, but now that we actually have to um, cook them, I don't know, I've got mixed feelings about this. We'll see. After removing the turtles' undesirables, it's steamed with shallots, garlic and ginger, like many other fish and seafood dishes in China. Wow, a bit nervous, really. Don't really know how to um, deal with this. 
I mean, on one hand, it's, it's a delicacy which has been around for, for hundreds of years, eaten around the world, but on the other hand, the turtle. Oh my god, oh Christ. Um, so I know it looks really weird to, to those of us who are a bit squeamish, but um, it does kind of taste like escargot. Just imagine you're in France and eating some snails, um, and there's a, a, a knack to eating turtle. The best part of it is the skirt around its uh, shell, which is mm, really, really tender. Super tender, very gelatinous. It kind of sticks to your sticks to your mouth a little bit. And this part is usually given to the most distinguished guests, um, which is me today, because it's got the most amount of nutrients. Okay. Coming up next. God damn it! Ah, hate this job. It's good. Can I walk? Yes, it's really beautiful. Yes, it's very expensive. Despite all the acclaimed health benefits of eating turtle, I just don't think it's for me. Luckily, my next destination takes me to Mount Jishan on the lookout for something that's far more sustainable, bamboo. One of the fastest growing plants on earth, bamboo has been used by the Chinese since time immemorial, particularly in southern China, where dense bamboo forests carpet the hills like fur. This versatile plant can be transformed into virtually anything, from arrows to chairs, shoes to houses. Before paper was invented, bamboo was the writing medium of choice. Here, amidst the bamboo forests of Mount Zishan, long after the literati have been and gone, the locals are still making use of their favorite resource. Yeah, I was really scared doing that just now. Do you know what I find really interesting is that People here pretty much live off the land, you know. You go up into the mountains to get bamboo shoots and then you get other kinds of bamboos to weave into baskets like this. It really is sustainable living at its best. Look at that, finished product. It actually looks really beautiful. 20 kwai, two pounds for a basket. I think it's a really good deal. This was the one that the lady just made. This is a two-year-old vintage. So you see, your baskets age well with time. But for me, the most important use of bamboo is food. That's why we've come to Mount Zishan in search of Guangde's third speciality, bamboo shoots. Supposedly, the best ones are found on sheltered, south-facing slopes. Here, the loamy soil is thick and deep, and full of nutrients. And though the bamboo shoots found here won't be the biggest, they'll be of the highest grade. Wow! 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 Wow!
trois. Comment vous voyez que c'est un chou sen? Tu as un chou sen? Tu as un chou sen? I'm told there are bamboo stems running lengthwise on the ground, and it's from those that new bamboo shoots will sprout. So all I have to do is look for where the shoots are pushing up the earth. They make it sound so easy. All you've got to do is look for a, a mound on the mountain. All I see are mounds. That's a mound. <clears throat> that's a mound. Oh, that's a stone. It's full of mounds. How are you supposed to find anything? It's ridiculous. Bush. <laughs> God damn it! Ah, hate this job. This 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 should be next year. This 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 year. 有可能有这种，你谈谈呢？就是没没有，我我试一下。我我我我可能很可能有你你你你试一下看。哪里哪里有点天赋？我感觉我感觉都快把门刨碎了。啊！哦，这是把那个根切掉。对，进去。哎呀，太好了 ！See, this is my hard work. Look at that. Beautiful. One pound for all of my hard work. That's like the cheapest manual labor ever. <laughs> However, at about ten dollars a kilo, these shoots represent good money. Oh my god, would you look at that? Wow. That is a beast. Christ. Alright, so the key to finding bamboo shoots is to just follow buried bamboo and um, see where they lead to. Ah. That our this stone and other places stone have different differences. Actually, I think they're all the same. We are from different places. The shoots are different. 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 好啊，这我不介意。该吃饭了。I read that during the Ming Dynasty some 600 years ago, Zishan's bamboo shoots were shipped by the ton to the imperial capital at Nanjing. Today, they barely make it out of Guangde. So popular are they with the locals? It seems a bit wasteful, but we only want the juicy core. The best way to bring out the flavor is to slice the shoots thinly and then stir fry them in pork fat. They need to be eaten ASAP. We want to take the shortest route from dirt to table. I am kind of salivating right now. Looks good. Ah, uh, here we go. Can't wait. The second of Guangdong specialty, Jishan bamboo. Oh, it's so it's so it's hard to call bamboo shoots tender, but it really is really tender and succulent without losing that kind of crispy taste that bamboo shoot is known for. I love the way they've cooked it. It's not, it's not overboard, it's just like a normal, nice family meal. And that's how you should do it, really. Oh, quite hard. You're eating a fat. There we go. Mmm. This smell is Wow, so if I was a hunter, then I'd only be looking for one thing right now. It's a kind of pheasant, which only lives here on the Hongshan Mountains. But this place is now a national park, so I'm gonna have to look elsewhere.
nearby the mountain and set amongst verdant bamboo groves is Muzi Resort. It's here that I'll try the last of Guangde's four speciality dishes, Hongshan pheasant. It's so good, it was supposedly given the thumbs up by Emperor Hongwu himself, the founder of the Ming Dynasty. Wild pheasants typically feed on grasses, nuts, and bamboo shoots, imbuing its meat with the fragrance of the mountains they inhabited. Oh, I sound like a poor man's Anthony Bourdain. Anyway, cooking for us today is Hu Lian Zheng, an expert on Anhui cuisine and head chef at Muzi. He's going to braise the pheasants with garlic and mustard greens, the method he's discovered is best for working with the pheasants' rich, earthy meat. Wow, okay, so that looks amazing. This is our Hengshan pheasant. Um, Hongshan the Anhui Culinary School focuses the spotlight squarely on the ingredients. Its aim? To bring out the flavour of your surroundings. This reflects the pragmatism of Anhui people and their homeland's great natural wealth. When you try Guangde's speciality dishes, you're savouring not only pheasant, turtle, fish or bamboo shoots, but also the mountains, waters and forests of Guangde. It's hard for me to accurately describe the taste of these dishes, but to me, Guangde's specialities aren't just delicacies, they tell the story of how Guangde came to be. My last stop before I leave is the 200 million year old Taiji Cave. The largest of its kind in eastern China, it has long been a favourite of Taoists who see the cave's wet and dry sections as representing yin and yang. To them, this is a place of enlightenment. Well, I've definitely gained a couple of pounds these last few days, but I also realised something. Although each of Guangde's four specialties are unique, they all have one thing in common, and it's this. It's all about the environment. If it wasn't for the clean water, the fresh air, a certain kind of mountain, Guangde wouldn't be what it is today. You know, so many tourists come here from Shanghai and other big cities on the weekend, and they come here to eat, Breathe in fresh air and relax, because that's what Guangde is about.